Okay, so here's a basic carbon simulation, just a cloth over sphere, nothing special to demonstrate um, what you want. So we all know you press reset simulation, and actually let me bring this over, press reset simulation and you get a reset and start simulating again. So the way the Houdini graph works is whenever you change something upstream, it gets propagated down, down the graph as like a kind of dirty flag I need to recook. And since I have my blue flag on the simulation, it means every time I change something up here, the simulation gets gets pinged saying, oh, there's something upstream that has changed. We actively um, ignore this to prevent just thousands of simulation resets all of the time. Um, and then only when we press reset simulation is when we actually pass a flag and say, okay, now you go, you you accept this, you recook. So just to illustrate this, let's add a Python node. And then here, we, let's kill this, let's say print, um, dirty, dirty, all right, there we go. Or it says dirty. So I keep my blue flag on here and I take it out on the cloth and I change my wrinkles limit. And look what happens in the Houdini console. So what, I'm not even letting go. So as long as I keep hold of it, I keep getting these dirty flags. Obviously, if I just were to change it once, I get, I get let's, let's clear this, 265, boom, get one dirty. But once I change this, look at this, I'm getting like dozens and hundreds of resets. Now the simulation would just reset dozens and hundreds of time. So that's why we um, do not automatically reset every time um, something changes here. But let's say you, you're not going crazy like this and causing simulation to reset so much and you really want it automatically. So what you can do in here is a simple line. So node. All right, let's get the node. Um, inside the carbon simulation is the actual simulation data node. And this one has a parameter called full reset. And if you set this one to one, we, we do a reset. So that's basically the same thing that happens when you press reset simulation. It, it sets that parameter to one. All right, so that's good. We got everything. Let's clear this. And let's change wrinkle limit to 20. There you go. Obviously, if you are, uh, you see this, it's getting insane. And if you have big simulations, your your reset can take up to half a second or a second or more, depending on how much procedural, um, how many procedural calculations and how many notes you have going on. So you really should not do this if you're planning on scrubbing. But if you're just planning on setting individual parameters like this, then it's fine. Yeah, let's do this again, the density. That's fine. And then similarly, um, if you say 18 and you change, um, it's not working. Let's try again. There you go. So it might not um, simulate all the way up to there using this technique. There we go. So now it's simulated up to there. Um, let's try another one. There you go, it might just reset and not, not basically simulate up to that frame. Do it again, now it simulates up to the frame. But it works very reliably if you're just on the first frame, really, and change stuff. Um, yeah, I hope this makes sense and just use it as you need it, but be careful.